guys welcome back and welcome if you're new in today's video I'm gonna share with you a shabby chic paint project I am going to paint this um, lovely antique hutch I went farmhouse with it originally it was painted white and then I took and I stained over it and now I want to take it back to the original white that I had painted it um, I love the farmhouse look but really for me I'm a shabby chic white paint girl so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and take this furniture piece back um, I have on my pink Grove collaborative apron I know I should probably be using this apron for cooking today but it's Saturday and I want to do something fun and just painting things white relaxes me so that's what I'm gonna do today um, I've got my bucket of white um, paint this is just Glidden from Walmart. It's a grab and go. It's super inexpensive and it works fairly well. As you can tell, I've done a lot of painting projects with it. Um, I really need you guys' help though. I've been um, on the Annie Sloan chalk paint website and I'm just dying to try some of those chalk paints. I saw that there's like a pale pink Marie Antoinette color. So comment and let me know, have you guys used the Annie Sloan chalk paint? If so, which one do you recommend? Do you think it's worth the price? It's like $35 for a gallon, I believe. And the grab and go from Walmart is like, you know, 12 or 15. So I'm just wondering, what kind of paint do you guys love to use? So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna share with you guys how I do this shabby chic paint project. Let's get to it. Okay, so I am so thankful you guys are here joining me on this shabby chic painting makeover project. I love making over spaces, furniture pieces, decorating. It's definitely um, my favorite thing. And I'm kind of really wanting to give this area a cohesive look. It's right by my front door, so it's my entryway table. And I am gonna be doing a whole house um, tour for you guys. So I just really wanna pull everything together, declutter any spaces, and just make it a one cohesive space. And this is Addie, she is my niece, and she is here to help me paint this furniture piece, which I'm so thankful. And um, it doesn't seem like a lot to paint, but painting is hard work for me. So anyway, so we're just um, tearing apart some Walmart bags. We're putting them underneath the legs of this table so we don't glob any paint on the table. It's a pretty front heavy furniture piece. So we're not gonna move it outside or anything. And I just need to remove any of like the wax from candle drippings and give it a good cleaning. This time I used my Honeycrisp Apple. It was just the little bit that I had left in my bottle. Um, it's by method. I give it on get it on the Grove Collaborative website. I will definitely be reordering that. So you're gonna see us go to town on painting this hutch. I'm just using a white paint um, and no sanding or anything like that. Just super easy. <laughs> you how excited I am to have Addie here helping me paint. She is such a doll um, 
and I waited about three or four hours, which is what it said on the side of the can of paint to do. And then now I'm just putting on my second coat and I'm going to be really, really patient and wait a couple days, even really before if I decide to distress it or add any stain to it to make it look old. Right now, I just really want it to look nice and white. And I really hope this is giving you guys some painting motivation. I know I posted on my Facebook and my Instagram that I was going to be tackling this project and several of you guys um, commented and let me know that you were also needing some painting motivation. So I really, hope you love this painting motivation and at the end of this I would love to hear your comments and let me know should I add um, a little bit of distressing and stain to this so far I have not um, it has dried now for two days and I think it looks really awesome so don't forget to comment and let me know your thoughts on to distress and stain or not to distress <music> I've almost got my second coat done. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there is one little handle that I left on there. I actually had to super glue that handle on there because I lost the screw. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and paint my big mirror white with my favorite Rust-Oleum 2X spray paint. So as you can tell, I am finished up painting. Um, I completely used my entire bucket of white paint. Um, so I painted this furniture piece and then I also painted my work table and my dresser. Um, I'm hoping my head isn't cut off on this video, but yeah, um, I have paint everywhere on my hands, in my hair, probably on my cute little apron. And so yeah, um, does anybody else ever do this when they go to town painting? They just go to town. So I'm going to show you guys the after, hopefully soon, it may be tomorrow, um, because I have to wait for everything to dry, get all the hardware back on, but I'm hoping you guys will love this. Thank you for joining me. So here is the finished product. What do you guys think? Comment and let me know. Um, I did go ahead and distress the mirror above this white buffet, but this to me is another awesome shabby chic furniture makeover project. I've got my little cute pink knobs for just a little touch of color. I have not distressed this piece like I said. Um, it's kind of a semi-gloss paint, so I actually don't know how great it's going to distress. I mean, I definitely could distress it, but I just think it came out so, so, so super gorgeous. It looks so crisp and clean. I am not completely set on how I arranged the buffet, but um, I do want to add in some family photos. We definitely need to get some new updated family pictures taken. This is from many, many years ago, but it fits so perfectly in this frame. And here's just some flowers that I added for a pop of color. Um, I decided to go 
also with the mirror above the buffet rather than the family pictures. I think I'm going to take and put those in the hallway. And then I used these small lamps. They're not exactly matching, um, but I just thought they looked really pretty to the side. They don't really take away from the beauty of the mirror because it is such a big showpiece, the mirror. I almost feel like I could just do the lamps. I know that would be really very minimalistic, um, but like I said, I'm not completely for sure how I want to decorate this buffet. I just kind of set some things around um, just to see how I would like it and give it some pops of color. So this is my entryway. There's my front door to the left, my little hall closet, and, and now we have the beautiful buffet and I am so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, go ahead, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.